Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop with Sammy. We are in my front yard today doing something a little different. So hopefully you guys enjoy being outside with us. It's been so gorgeous here in Kansas. Um, so let's get right into it. This is definitely a smaller one. We went to a Dollar Tree in Kansas. It is off Metcalf and 119th. We don't usually go there, but we happen to be over there for a thrift store. Um, so that's Hank. He's like, let me be there too. Um, so we walked in there and I did find some goodies. So I want to show you first off, y'all, there are more calendars. Okay. There are more calendars than the five that I showed you and they are actually really really beautiful so I'm going to show you those first and you guys they had all the calendars so I did grab more of these for future giveaways and I will um let's um I will do a possible giveaway or I don't want to say giveaway um I am going to gift one of these uh, to somebody later in the video. I'll let you know how you can um, enter to receive the gift. I'm saying gift because like, I guess YouTube doesn't like giveaways. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, I did grab more for future gifting items. And you guys, I also have a bunch of the calendars from last year, like the Simply Blessed and um, what was the other, you know, you know, the one, you know, the one I need to start doing gifting of those two. Cause I have a bunch. Okay. But the ones I want to show you, it was actually Teresa B DIY. She was going to send me these, but then I ended up finding them at my store. And let me tell you these are Gurga. Like, you know, I'm going to get classy with it. So just bear with me. It's fine. It's fine. We could find it. Yeah, you drink all of that. Okay, so these are similar to like, you know, the quote ones that, you know, like the flower one that I picked up in the last haul. <clears throat> Trying not to put my trash everywhere. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Look at just how beautiful the cover is. Yeah. Faith can move mountains. And then, what are you doing, Batman? Look at how stunning these are and how, I'm all, it looks kind of dark right here, but hopefully you guys don't mind. Let me see. Now this, I love this calendar. You can use these images for so much. Love is patient, love is, oh, I love that. Ooh, look at that. Smile often, laugh loudly, dream big so much you could do with these oh look at that do little things i love this is totally my jam what babe okay baby oh look at how pretty those colors are i am vibing this always is the best time for kindness overflow with confident hope so blessed, so grateful. These are better than the other ones, you guys. Oh, look at that. He fills my life with good things. This is gorgeous. So there is this one, and these are the ones, you guys, that they, like, I feel like have. Mommy, what? I need you. Just set it right there, babe, and I'll do it after. I'll put it up here. Okay. So there is that one. Then there is this one. My back. I don't know why I chose to do it right here, because my back is killing me sitting in this position. Uh, hi baby. So this is another kind of quote one. It says blessing bloom features colorful floral artwork and scriptures or quotes every month. Frame your favorites to display when the year is over for continued inspiration. I like how they did that. And these, so they're imported by Greenbrier. So they're imported by Dollar Tree, but these say joyfully yours a day spring company dayspring.com so 
you can see right here, this is the company that makes it, but Greenbrier distributes it. Okay, so this one's actually like really, I feel like big. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, these are so pretty. Imagine these, you guys, on just like Mod Podged on a piece of wood and then distressed the sides down. Oh my gosh. Or like um, like a, a baby shower gift. Like if you frame this and just decorated the, the frame of it. Oh, these are so beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, I love, now imagine this for like a baby shower gift for a nursery. Oh yeah, bud. Oh, those are so gorgeous. So there is that one. And then they came out with another one like last year's. Let me put these back so I don't get them wet. You want to hold that up? So they came back out with another version of the God Bless This Farm calendar. And um, here, I'm going to open it, baby. Can now, I open my one? Yeah. Um, the one last year, I didn't use a lot of images out of. I used like the white cow, the piggy. Um, if you want to see how I use those images, let me know and I'll link them People down below. Piggy. We've had this conversation a lot. Everly's been asking about like pigs and if people, never mind. Anyways, these are, I think, better than last year. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, sorry. There's like that one. These look more like water painted. March 3rd is my birthday. Look at how pretty these are. And if uh, Dollar Tree ever comes back out with their 12 by 12 frames, these images fit perfectly in there. Look at how gorgeous. And these are all new prints. I love this with like the teal. Um, two pages later, the teal roof. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I like that one. So there is that other one. So you guys, they have more than just those calendars up for grabs. So make sure you're, yes, I will. And then Everly and Everett grabbed um, calendars. This one's Everett's. Are you gonna show it to them? Open it. It's okay, you don't, you could show them the back, baby. Okay. Um, Everly picked out this one. They have like the puppies, the kitties, some other ones, maybe florals, and they come with the large calendar and then the mini calendar in them, which is a great deal. She wanted this one. Of course she did. So adorable. And that's a good value. The two for one for a dollar. So she grabbed that. And then I grabbed one of these. Yes, I can make one. I actually have one made, but it's kind of small. So I grabbed one of these and you guys for a dollar, it's crazy. When I first started my wood sign business, crazy enough, it started because of these signs and I sold like tons and tons of them. And people are willing at the last minute to pay a lot of money for these, but for a dollar, yes, please. So this is his calendar, Bumblebee Transporters, wait, Transformers. And that's the back of it. Aren't those cool? Those are so cool. Bro. I'll take the side of it. So yeah, I got this so Everly and Ever could use it this year since both of them will be going to school. Oh, mommy, look at this. Whoa, that's Bumblebee. That's so cool. And as usual, I got my energy. Cheers to the energy. Why all of it come down? Is that's that just a cardboard so that your pages don't bend, honey. Okay, so for 10 minutes spent on calendars again. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, let's see what else. Randomness 
in the party section, That's I mine. found these and I thought that they were so cool. I actually got two packs, but one of them, somebody, it looked like busted open. But they're tissue paper confetti tubes. What? But guess what? There's actually two of them. There are two in there. So I actually thought that these would be fun to like just when John comes home one day for all of us to come over and just shoot him with the confetti. But these are really cool and I don't think I've ever noticed them there and they come in a pack of two. So I really, I thought those were cool. I don't know why. Okay, they're coming back out with the, um, Everett, stop baby. Um, they're coming back out. What are these? Just wood hanging decor is what they're calling them. But they're coming back out with them. They kind of come and go, but I feel like they're a constant uh, crafter square item that they do have. But I am noticing that they're coming back out into stores. So I grabbed some more of the stars. Now that I have a booth space, usually I would just grab this stuff to craft with, but now I'm grabbing it with intention I guess you can say because I know I can make several um, beaded garlands like with this stuff during Christmas and those are things that are uh, like rather easy to create especially since I have like transfers and the vinyl cutting machine it could be a nice like you know turn of profit if I can sit down and get them done. So they have the star they had the cross and then they had the heart, which I know the heart, you always got to think of all, all the, the different things that you can do with these because you might see a heart and you think, I can't stop messing up. And you might think like, oh, that's just for Valentine's day or something like that. But um, these can be personalized gifts for Christmas. You could do like a beaded garland that's personalized, make it an ornament. Um, last year, I will try and remember to link the video of the handwriting vinyl ornament I made for Everly. I need to make him one this year. What's up, Batman? <laughs> so don't just think like seasonal. And who is it, you guys? If you're one of my crafters, um, country, country charm. I'll try finding her name on Instagram. I think she has a, um, a YouTube as well. I'm going to try finding her because they, um, she makes like the coolest, like super country DIY crafts. And I don't know why, but this looks like old fashioned, like, you know, the nineties hearts anyways. Okay. Let's stop talking. All right. So I grabbed several of those. This is going to be random because we're outside and everything's in bags. And it's rather small, but just bear with me. Grab these for the kids. Everly lost her first tooth. Very exciting. So she wanted a new toothbrush. We usually get electric toothbrushes, but I swear the batteries on those things go out. Watch out for my drink, babe. Go out so fast. Um, but she saw that Everett got camo, so she wanted camo. And they're the soft bristles. They are the Plackers camo. Yeah. And they are, I'm gonna say name brand because watch out for the thing. Uh, yeah, distributed by Renner. So grab two of those. Honey, I, I can, can we open those? Yeah, these are nice too for the double packs to put away. Like if there's sleepovers or like you have grandchildren and stuff like that, just to like have the extras. And I finally found this thing i think it was poogie's reviews had uh, tried this and it is the shampoo massager and i was like "Ooh, i wonder my hair is usually so knotted up when i take a shower i couldn't imagine getting this through i don't know even a shoe i'm like this feels good like just like this you could even use it as like okay maybe not there but i'm excited to try it it has a little handle on it I guess so we'll see oh it's Everett it's not Batman mm -hmm. what the heck what the heck man all right want to want to see complete randomness you guys so we're searching and then right out of the corner of my eye I spot black 
and purple glitter. And I'm like, there's no way, there's no way. Yes way, there is a way because there was just one box of Halloween picks out. And I was like, what the what? This is uh, kind of crazy. So I go over there and sure enough, Halloween picks. And I can't say, let me know if I'm wrong. I don't remember there being Halloween picks last year. And I went all out for Halloween only to find out that a lot of people don't like Halloween crafts. <laughs> yeah. So I had bought a lot of stuff and I know I bought like a lot of the florals with the, um, you know, the roses that have like the eyes in them and stuff. I bought a bunch of those, but I don't remember there being floral picks. Flies. So this one has like a carnation, a little pumpkin, some of the, um, what do you call these? Don't remember. But they had that one and these were the only two and this one, which I thought was rad. Look it, it's like Everett's head is a skull. Do, 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 do. What? Guess what? what? Do you think Batman was me? I did think, I, I think everybody thought Batman was you. That you were Batman. No, that you were Batman. But I was actually Everett. I know, that's so cool. But this skull is so big. Again, referencing the roses from last year. You remember they came with the skull, but the head was probably like that big. These are really big. I think the rose is very well done and it's it's a big flower on there. Has the carnation. I think these are gonna be so cool. I got two of each, just, I didn't know. I just grabbed them because I was like, these are freaking cool. And I just could not believe that they had a box. It might have been a random box. I don't know, but they had a box. Then I grabbed two more floral picks. Like I need any more freaking floral picks in my life, to be honest. But I used these last year in a lot. If you guys saw my, um, I'll link it down below, my fall mega video for crafting. At the very end, I show you how I set up my house last year for fall. And I use these picks in a lot of my decor as just like fillers in different spots. And I think they're very well done. The sunflower is gorgeous. The leaves are the pine cone. I definitely think this is one to get. It just says fall pick. And then I found this one and I just got this one because I liked the color of the pumpkin. I liked the burnt orange, kind of like rustic. You can see how it's kind of, can you see? It's like, sorry, you guys, if the lighting's bad. Um, the like spotted kind of rustic look and then the, I don't know, more realistic, I guess, flowers. Fl um, what do you call it? These actually feel like, I don't know. They're not like that plastic feeling. Yes. I want to write my form, but I can't. What? I can't write my form. No, it's not working right now. That's okay. You know Daddy fixes everything. He'll figure it out. Daddy works on cars. He'll figure it out. Yeah, but not toy cars. Not toy. Yeah, but they're similar maybe. Okay. Then, all right, I don't know what the heck's in these bags. I found the little owls. I know that there's another color. Let me find it. So you guys, y'all know me. Y'all know me. And my, um, my wax issue now. If you guys don't watch my Dollar Tree or my DIY channel, then I guess you wouldn't know about my wax issue. But, um, I recently started using waxes over chalk paint. It brings out so much of the texture in a detailed item. And when I saw these owls, the first thing I thought of, first thing was chalk paint and then wax. And these are gonna be gorgeous. These will also be beautiful um, with cemented, and cemented, I mean baking soda and paint. And they had this brown, they had a green, and they had another color. I think I just got two and two of these. <laughs> this fool grabbing a chair to sit down. 
Um, but that was my vision for these. And of course they're gorgeous, just the color they are. These are very cottage core as well. So these can fit in anywhere. These are gonna be great for tiered trays as well. So definitely pick you up some of these and they're, they're all glass, so great quality. So grab those if you see them. You are cracking me up, dude. You are cracking mama up. Let's see, what else did we find? Hey. You. Man, she's got these wrapped up. Mommy, guess what? Sorry if all you hear is the bag, but seriously, these are so wrapped up. I break them up the back, man. Yes, you do. So I need to stop buying the pumpkins when I see them because my girl Mari, the one that I shared with you in the last video, again, I will um, link her channel down below. She is sending me some pumpkins, but as I'm seeing them, I'm at least picking up like one of each to show you guys. And I know I'll use them. Fool, you better get your feet off of me. <laughs> or give me a back massage. That's not a back massage. Okay, anyways. Um, I found these, so we got the bigger one and the shorter one. These are, um, they're not cement. So they're not like the cement ones, like the orange ones that I pulled before that are super heavy, but they are, what do you guys call this? What, what, why am I drawing a blank right now? Why am I drawing a blank? I don't know. Um, you guys... You get it. Oh, oh, hey. Taking off Batman right in front of everybody. <laughs> so these have like a great leaf um, kind of imprints in them. Again, I am just gonna be covering these up with chalk paint. I have um, a video coming out tomorrow on Unicorn Dust Designs. So make sure you watch it because I am gonna be showing you my new fall colors that I will be using in my home this year and probably throughout all of my decorating. Um, these are gonna be covered with them too. So I grabbed the white ones cause I thought that they would be easier to repaint over. They're beautiful as is. They are a little discolored. I don't know, again, if you can see, like it almost looks like water got on it and then dried. And then again, with like, I don't know what's going on, where these have been. <laughs> but the bottoms of this stuff is gross, man. Okay, and then, I feel like the flies are lucky. Um, we got, wait, oh, I think I just covered it back up because I'm a weirdo. Those wood looking ones. So I found the wood ones. Mari is sending me a couple of these here. It looks like all of them are kind of made in the same way. You see how they have like that white piece? It almost feels like caulking. You know what I'm saying? But I actually don't know now that I, I've seen it in a person, if I would leave it this way. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. What do you guys think? I think they're really nice. I think they are definitely like something you would see in Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby? I just don't know. I don't know, but either way, if I don't keep it like this, then I can definitely change it up by painting it. So I think those, let me double check, are the only, yep, that's, that's an owl. Oh, here is, gosh, you guys, I think we're like already done. This is gonna be like my shortest haul ever in, in the world of hauls. But seriously, I have not been finding stuff at my Dollar Trees. It has been like very hit or miss. And I live about 30 minutes away from each Dollar Tree or further. So lately it's been disappointing. So I haven't been driving out that way. And um, yeah, and then when I do go, it's just very kind of like random finds. It's like they're putting out like one box at a time. And when I ask people like, oh, do you know when you're gonna put out this or that? It's like, oh no, it's just kind of a uh, sporadic. Sorry, neighbors are yelling. Um, and then I have this one. So there was the short one and then we got the long one here. Or I wouldn't call this long, but I grabbed two of those. 
And again, the white is great because it'll be easy to paint over if you don't like them. The texture on these is just so great for painting. It has like, I don't know, these would totally break too. Like, I'm trying to get the Okay, well, you're gonna have to hold on. You know that I'm videotaping and I'm almost done, okay? Uh, when you're almost done, we're going to play at the track. Oh, okay. All right, so there are those pumpkins. So we did have some good finds. Um, I haven't been to that store in a really long time. So I was really lucky to walk in and at least find like those couple things. So I am grateful because I know there's some people that won't even get to find these. So um, I will probably be on the hunt this week, maybe for another one. You guys, I think I'm gonna do a challenge. It might be boring to you guys, but when I go into Dollar Tree, I spend so much money and I feel like it's because I buy multiples of something thinking I'm going to do like amazing things with it. And then I don't, <laughs> you know, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set myself to a budget of $50 a week. And when I go into Dollar Tree, I am going to, I can only buy 25 of like the best things that I see and not buy duplicates of anything. That would be really hard. That'd be super hard. But let me know if I should do that challenge because then I'd really have to hone in on <laughs> what's worth buying and what's not. But um, let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the other calendars that are totally worth looking for. And um, I appreciate you all spending your time with me. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and make sure you guys share where you can. It really helps my channel out. And for the calendar gifting, I am going to gift one away. You have to be a U.S. resident 18 and over and um, make sure you're liked and make sure you're liked. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, that you like the video and um, and then just comment whatever you want. <laughs> okay, and then this is Friday's video, so I will try and remember to announce it in Monday's video. All right, you guys, I hope you have a good weekend, and thank you for spending your time with us today. Bye.